I'd like to welcome Tair Kowalski. She is the aunt of uh, lookout soldier Ronnie Eschel, who was killed uh, in Nachal Oz on October 7th. Tair, thank you so much for uh, being with us with us this evening. Of course, thank you for having me. So, uh, you know, everybody who lives in Israel, I know the story very well. I know the family very well because uh, uh, Ronnie's parents, Eyal and Sharon, are very... Uh, uh, um, existent uh, uh, in Israeli media calling uh, for uh, 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 an inquiry for what went on uh, before and during mm -hmm. the Black Sab Sabbath? Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, uh, Sharon and Eyal, my family, they are good people from small town in Israel doing their thing. They've never meant to be famous, and for obvious reasons, not for this reason. And the presence that they, they're still holding is, um, is so impressive, as I see it. They're taking, taking on missions and making very, very slow wagons and very hard wheels to move, each of them in, in their own way. Um, and it all started from October 7th when I called Sharon at 7.30 that evening and I said, are we worried and how worried we are? And this is the moment that our world changed and all of the family, we dedicated ourselves only to one thing, to to find Roni, or to find information about Roni, because we knew nothing for many, many days. And it took 35 days because what Hamas ISIS did to the lookouts at Nachalo's base, 35 days to identify, you know, it, it's not even a tissue, it's not even a body, it's to identify something something biological that can say what happened to our sweet girl that you can all see now with her beautiful eyes on the screen. Yes, Tayyar, you know, uh, um, Ronnie warned alongside um, her friends uh, for weeks and months of what's coming from Gaza. Um, mm -hmm. And Eyal told me, her father, that a few days earlier she was at home and she spoke of that and he said, it's okay, the IDF knows what they're doing. Obviously, they didn't. She was right. She was right, and not Ayala, not anyone else told her that she was wrong. But, you know, she was one year in the army, and you think that, okay, they got it covered, right? You know, the commanders, that the, the intel, like, aren't we the best? Um, and I think that after the strike, this horrible, horrible genocide and event and mess, IDF really, you know, um, came back in, in full strength. But the fact is that there was a conception, and I paid for this conception, and Eyal and Sharon paid for this conception in, in her life. And... Unfortunately, this is not the first time that we're losing um, a family member and to this to this fight, and it happens generation after generation in our family, which is horrible, which makes Tony's grandmother and my mother and their brothers, my uncles, um, just in an endless sorrow yes. for so many years now. Tail, uh, no, no words will ease the pain, um, and yet we hug you and all the family. And thanks for sharing um, Ronnie's story with us here on I24 News. Thank you for hugging us and letting us keep her name running and alive. And yes. I think one of the hardest things is to think that she died for nothing, but her name is now is now strong and alive and people know who she is and who who her parents are yes. and that they're good people yes. and she was a fighter. Tail, thank she you. Fought.
Thank you for so much for that.